Anyone can dictate text for publication of Russian governors. Dmitry Nizovtsev from Navalny's team, under the guise of an employee at the reception desk of the Speaker of the Russian State Duma, called the head of the Magadan region with an urgent request to publish a post in Telegram. Earlier, State Duma Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin said that it is better for everyone who left Russia due to disagreement with the Kremlin not to return to the Federation because Magadan is provided for them. The governor of the Magadan Magadan region in turn said that it is necessary to get rid of stereotypical ideas about his region. He received a call from an alleged receptionist, Volodin, and published a text dictated by him. Herodotus also wrote that in the territory of Zalesia, in the territory of modern Russia, there is neither truth nor law. Accordingly, people think that everything that comes from management can be absurd. That is, they think that checking this information will cost themselves more. They will ask him if he understood poorly, and this could be fraud. When the situation became public, the official called the prank a vivid example of information warfare and proposed introducing a special protocol for communication with journalists, namely forcing them to sing the anthem of the aggressor country and assert that Crimea occupied by Russia is supposedly part of the Federation. Why he himself didn't even try to clarify who exactly he was talking to, he didn't explain. Nizovtsev admits that his Belarusian colleague has surpassed him. Russian teachers con congratulated Putin on his birthday with portraits of Bandera. Actionist artist and former teacher Vladislav Bohan sent a letter to the management of 30 Russian schools on behalf of a deputy of the United Russia Party. Attached to it were posters that allegedly depicted the head of the Kremlin in his youth, but in fact the ideologist of the Ukrainian nationalist movement of Stepan Bandera. Spam filters passed 15 letters, four of them were answered and educational institutions joined the flash mob. It would seem good that the pliable people yearn for the health of the leader, righteously listen to his quotes on his birthday for the speedy defeat of the enemy. However, reality casts doubt on their sincerity when, with the deft movement of his hand, Stepan Bandera becomes our president on the poster. Vladislav Bokhan, action artist from Belarus, on Telegram. Total fear of superiors in the state has historical prerequisites. The absolutism of the Russian Empire and Soviet totalitarianism, and then and now aggressive propaganda and the work of the repressive machine is the basis for the existence of the regime. Militarization and ideologization of education must to train modern Russians from childhood to be cogs in the system. There is massive indoctrination from a very young age. That same youth army is nothing more than militaristic brainwashing of school children. That is, the only goal of this organization is precisely the preparation of future cannon fodder and instilling the normality of the idea that a person lives to die for his homeland. Fostering patriotism in 2024 will cost Russian taxpayers approximately $400 million. The Russian government plans to spend about $110 billion dollars on defense, or more precisely, on the war against Ukraine. That is every third ruble from the state treasury. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Valeria Nakipelova, UATV News.